Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to create a minimalist natural hair conditioner. Now, if you've been working with natural materials, you'll know that creating natural conditioners that actually perform like the more synthetic offerings is really difficult. To get that initial slip, to get good spread through the hair, to get good detangling properties, and then to get a really pleasant silky feeling on wash off is quite difficult. But I want to introduce you to a new material, Stephen Quart Solil. Now this only came onto the market late 2021, so it's a really new material. It doesn't have the same sort of irritancy profiles as your behentramonium chloride or cetramonium chlorides, and it's 88% natural and sustainably sourced. In addition, you only need to use a really small amount in your formula, and it has an absolutely outstanding effect. So today I'm creating a minimalist natural hair conditioner using four ingredients plus water, and I will tell you this actually outperforms my regular conditioner product. So let me show you how it's put together. This is the product here. Now it's based on sunflower seed oil, and as you can see, it's a beautifully viscous, beautifully creamy conditioner product. Now to create this, I'm just using my water. I'm using some Montanov 68 for stability, the Step and Quartz Solil, uh, a little bit of jojoba oil, and a preservative. Now I'm just going to heat the water, and then I'm going to add these materials to the hot water, emulsify under high shear, and then I can check and adjust the pH. It really is that simple. Let me show you how it's done. Now on the day you make it, it will have a lower viscosity, but by the next day, it will set into this beautifully viscous, creamy conditioner. Now I have very dry, damaged, chemically treated hair, so I was really impressed by this material. I only needed 2.2% of it in this formulation to make me really happy with the result. I didn't need to add any other sort of polyquaternium or even hydroxypropyl guar, hydroxypropyl trimonium chloride to get the same sort of performance benefits. Now that's not to say you can't, of course. This is a minimalist formula, so you could add all sorts of things to this formula, including some straight guar or some hydroxypropyl guar, hydroxypropyl trimonium chloride to further support shelf life in varying climates. On its own, it's a very stable product. And again, I just wanted to demonstrate today just how effective this one conditioning agent is in the formulation by keeping it super simple. It's also worth noting that the Step and Quartz Salil is liquid, which means you could make an entirely cold process product if you wanted to. I used the waxy emulsifier to build this beautiful viscosity that you can see here because a lot of consumers will look to the viscosity of a conditioner as a way of knowing how conditioning it's going to be. The viscosity of your conditioner has nothing at all to do with how conditioning the product will be in the hair, but it is a consumer perception that you often need to formulate too, which is why I use the waxes in this formula. But you could make a completely cold process product. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create a minimalist natural hair conditioner using the Step and Quartz Salil, which is sustainably sourced from sunflower oil. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.